Hello there. Um, I'm glad you all enjoyed the last video. I had loads of comments on it. Very surprised. Anyway, um, if I get another one of them, them ambulances, the um, superior ambulance, I shall do it the um, the blue and the white colour. Because there is another one that is a blue and white colour. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get on with this video here now today. Um, I've got another one from... Um, well, I had a package back along from Robert Stevenson from Australia, as you well know. And this is another one from him. So thanks again, Robert, for your, your, your donations. It's this one here. It's a Mercedes Pullman. Pullman 600. And um, it isn't bad, Nick. There was a badge missing on the front. I made a little bit and just stuck on to see if it's any good. But I think I'll leave it there because it, it ain't coming out too bad. I mean, I don't know if you can see that properly. It's like a... It's just a little bit of plastic I've sort of moulded and stuck something on there because the badge was missing. But that's all going to be done properly when I dismantle this to, you know, take it to pieces. But there's only one thing, thing I've seen wrong with this so far. On the bottom, that's broken on there. So I'll have to see what I can do with that. But anyway... Let's get on with it. Needs a bit of um, restoration on it. That needs repairing. So anyway, this is a chance to let you see my new toy. I caught myself a, a new voice. Trying to get better shots for you folks. So I'm going to try this out on this one now. And drill this one out. With my new toy. <laughs> with my new voice in here. If I tighten it up a bit. I've got some rubbery stuff to protect the um, car, so let's get on and drill this this one out and see what we can find inside. Right, let's get me a big drill on it first. As before, you just drill down so far like that. Same with the back one. Maybe a touch more on that one. I've got to say this drill press voice is doing a lot better job than what the other one does. There's a lot more control over everything. for a tenner off of eBay. Well nine pounds nine pounds something I think it was. And that's including free delivery. There. Right, so now now we've got to pop the bottom of that one off. So I'll get it out of the voice. Right, so I want to be careful with this because I don't want to lose any of these pieces for this glass and I'm going to have to watch this when I prise this off because this here is only plastic around here so I'm hoping it's going to you know that tire is knackered anyway that is, it's all in bits so I might as well rip that off out of the way it might give me a bit more access to get under there oh that's not that's not so tight that side I must have gone in a bit deeper there. Right, now I'm going to be careful of this because I don't want to lose any of them bits like I said. 
And look at all that there in there. <laughs> what a palora. No, folks. If you're attempting one of these for the first time, I have done one of these quite a while back. But what you ought to do is get your um, phone out, take a picture of all this, so you can remember <laughs> how to put it back. I mean, I'm hoping I can remember. See, so remember, that's the first piece you took out, so that'll be the last piece to go in. I mean, you took all that out of that. Take your little wheel out. I mean, I, I can forgive anybody who don't want to do one of these, because, I mean, they are a pain. You should be able to get this off now. That's the only trouble with these. There's so many stupid little parts on it. That there should come off. Just got to remember where it all goes back, folks. That's all. See, that should just pop off now. I say should. But, you know. <laughs> is that pushed in there? No, it ain't. So. But you got to be very gentle with it because you don't want to break it. See, that all comes off in one like that. Like, so you just lever it up like that. got to be very careful with this stuff because, I mean, if you break one of these, I, I think flowers do sell them on the website, but they're very expensive. So, really, you don't want to break it if you can help it. Now, this has got to be all brushed up and cleaned up and then re -chromed. So we'll put that aside. And the rest, I think, is pretty straightforward, folks. It's just, this comes out like this. One unit. All I've got to do is drill down the posts. Get them posts drilled out and get this resprayed. Now there's your wipers. All this got to be cleaned up. And you've got glass here as well, that. So be aware. There's so many fiddly little bits in this in this um, restoration. You've got little bits of glass there, that, and they just slide down into them bits there. But all this has got to be... Remember, when you take them out, the shape of it, that, the hook part goes on the inside like that, because it hooks behind your actual piece of glass there. And that's what holds it in. So just remember that when you take it out. But all that's got to come out is it's got to be cleaned. It should all go back anyway, and we'll only go in one, one way. You know, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of fiddling around, but now this bit is a fiddly bit as well, because you've got little discs in there what's got the wipers on. You've got to prise it away from that. But it's such a fiddly old car to do this one. It's not the best of restorations for a beginner to do because there's too many bits and pieces you've got to be aware of. See, there's more bits and pieces here, let's say. Take your glass off. That's all got to be clean, so you've got to take it all apart. It's no good doing half a job. And then you've got the easier bits with your wipers on, but you've got that little bit there, that. There's another little part, see? Another little part that's come out. And then you got these ear little parts, and they come out of there, that. And they got little pins on them, and they go in for your wipers. See what I mean? There's so many stupid little bits on this car, it's, it's just unbelievable. Right, all well, that's ready, that can be cleaned up. I'll put that in my washing machine. These bits here I'm going to polish on their own, I think, these little bits of glass. Right, let's have a look at this piece. I don't know if I can rescue this. See, I mean, it's, it's in two pieces already, that is not, it's not in the best of shape. I don't even know if I can get that out without taking this axe away, actually. I can get it out that way, but the thing is, when it comes to putting it back in, if I do repair it, To tell you the truth, I don't realise the use of this. I don't really see the point of it, because you've got the switch on and off anyway. I don't really know why it matters if, you're gonna, if you've got to see that. 
why you would want to see that, I don't know. So, I mean, to put that back in, I'm going to have to take this axe away. That's the only way I can see it can be done. And I don't really want to go doing all that. You could spring it up that way, I suppose. And sort of force it underneath if I could. Yeah, maybe. That must be how it comes out. That's what you got to do, I suspect. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. If I can repair it, I will. If not, I shan't bother. But, we'll see. Anyway, let's get on and strip all this. And, um, I'll let you see what I've done. Once it's all stripped, and you'll see a nice shiny silver car. And then, it'll be the respray. Well, folks, I've been off camera doing this for the last, what? 45 minutes the two pieces I took out of the out of here the base plate the two plastic pieces I managed to salvage it hopefully I'll be able to get it back in there I've got a clear piece of plastic here I've cut all the horrible stuff out I managed to join the two pieces together I managed to join it at one side where I still had some left and then I put the plastic on there and with the help of this stuff, five second fix, this is like a, it's, it's ideal for doing stuff like the see through like that, because it dries really hard when you, when you shine the light on it, it's perfect for see through things, but if you've got something solid, you've got to use super glue, because you've got to have the light to make it set, if you know what I mean, so if it's transparent, the light will go through it better and it'll set better. But I've managed to glue this top piece on the top here, piece of clear plastic, what I cut out, and I filled all the little gaps up with um, this here stuff. Just glue and then shine the, the torch on it and iron it up because it sets transparent, you see. I mean, after that, there, that was all missing there. There wasn't anything there to grab hold of. I could only glue that one side to start with and get it to hold. I mean, once I got the plastic piece on the top, I was alright, but. Anyway, I'm hoping this is going to be good enough to suffice for what we need. At least it's got a cover on it again. Right, so we've um, got all the I've got all the paint off. I've given it a good wire brushing with me um, Dremel, well not Dremel, me Parkside rubbish. <laughs> got the switch broke on last video. It's working again now. Anyway, all, all this has been cleaned up, so I'm going to mass all this up now. I shan't bother showing you painting this because it's only. I've just got to mass that hole up. Put the bits on the wheels, like these pieces here. Stick all them on, like I showed you before. Put all them pieces on, mask out. Well, I'll spray that. And then I'll, I'll show you. This one here, I, I might give it a, I might give it a base coat actually first before I start spraying the colour on. I'll see. I'll just check, check the bodywork over off camera and just give it a good look over first. And if it needs it, I'll give it a quick flash with a base coat, and then the next bit you'll see is me putting the colour on. And another job, I've undercoated this piece. This is the chrome piece. So that's got to be all painted up with me, um, me Molotel. That's got to be all painted by hand, though. Not obviously not. Not these. All this bit in in here that ain't got to be touched. It's just the main parts all along. You know, the grill all around here. All that's got to be done. All rechromed. So then that'll be ready to be put back on. And then it won't be far off putting back together. Once I've polished up these windows, all these is going to be polished up using the um, metal polish, which I showed you in the last video. I should give these a good polish and then treat them in the um, floor shine. And they'll come out nice then. And of course, 
the glass, which I've got actually soaking in me washing up liquid at the moment. And the interior, of course, that's that's also soaking in the washing up liquid. So anyway, that'll be the next bit. The next piece will be spraying the colour on this one. Right, it's a nice day today, so we're going to spray this outside. You only got to look at the weather up there and nice sunshine. Should draw nothing quick. So, as before, nice short little brush to start with. Got to be light with this because it's a pearlescent paint. So you don't want to overdo it in the first, you know, couple of coats. Right, that should do for that. Get the inside quick blast. Comes out very thick, this stuff. Pearlescent. So be aware of that. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see See the shine, the little pearls in it. But that's the sort of finish you get, folks. So I shall let that dry and we'll, um, well, I'll do a few more coats off camera, I'll get it lacquered. And then we'll be um, putting this one to get back. So see you in a sec. So Here's the finished show. Got the nice pearlescent finish on it. All finished. Now ready to be put back together. So um, all my parts is laid out. Let's get on with doing that. Right. I, as you see, I, I've treated the glass. It's come out really nice. First job would be putting this back together here because this got a slot in. I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see better. Right. Now we've got our little wipers. You're going to put these little wipers in. Like that. And we'll get all this assembled first. And then put our little plate in. And it just drops in there like that. You're going to make sure... Make sure the little pins on the plate here are in the little grooves of the wipers. And then turn it around, or whichever you are, left hand or right hand, I don't know. And you got the back piece here. Well, this this tab here slots through that piece there. You slot it through there, and then you just let it pop down like that. And that's our wipers and our seat and screen all assembled. See, when it works, it'll, it'll do all that. So now we can turn upside down. Now we can put glass pieces in the side windows. Now these these have been treated as well, as you can see. And you remember I told you about the little hooks on the glass. It was like a hook like that. That goes on the inside. You just let them drop in like that. I said I've got this one on the right side. Actually, my goodness, they might have different sides. Actually, I'm not sure. No, oh, it seems to fit better that side. Yeah, I think he's slightly... I think they're both slightly different. They only fit a certain size. I mean, anybody wants to correct me on the comments, they can, but I don't know. These seem to go in better like, like that. So whether they're different on either side, I don't know. But there, then, that's done. Right, now... Um, I can't remember. I think, yeah, that's going to have to go in first, I'm sure. I'm sure that must be the first part. Yeah, because that, I was thinking about this piece here. Yeah, I think that's the first part, and then this piece goes on afterwards. I mean, this has all been chromed up now, so we can put all that to, back together. And that'll just drop on there, like that. Don't force anything, just work it on there. Because don't forget when you resprayed your mollo, 
the actual the paint you know the thickness can cause problems sometimes because it's a bit thicker to push back onto if you know what I mean so just work it on there gently till you're happy with it that looks about right right now the next bit I'm pretty sure this piece goes on next now that there, that must be for the little pin. So I should think it goes on, something like that. Right, see? And then, the only way to try it really, I suppose, is to put our wiper piece in. And actually see if it works. Or um, switch back. Like I say, only he only goes in one way. That because you got the half circle. So push it in there like that. I'll take it. That must be on. Oh, that must be off. I think. Yeah, that must be on like that. And then off. Pulls it away, that's right, yeah. So if we turn that now, that wheel, we should be able to see if the wipers work. And there they are. You can see them just at the bottom. Well. So that's all put back together properly. Right then. This is the bit that I was worried about. Is this piece that I did is to get it back in here now when I took it out I managed to get this up here tonight so I'm pretty sure if I if I can pull this axle up so far like that and get it just about there before it comes off just just enough to get that in that should in actual fact get in there okay without any problems <laughs> saying that but maybe if I went the other way from underneath because I'm pretty sure this is the back part here ah there we go start from the from there and go underneath then drop your axle back down it's in there that ain't going anywhere I know it don't look brilliant but Better than it was anyway. At least it's been fixed. I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes in. Might have to fiddle about with it a bit. Get me out of up there again. Actually, I might have got it in the wrong way around, folks. <laughs> I think I have. Oh dear, I'm trying to show you lot how to do it, like, and I can't even do it properly myself. <laughs> Try it the other way. I think these two round ones go this side. See what see what happens this, this way round. Ah, hang on, that could be it. There's a little tab there. See, I'm trying to get that one. I'm trying to get that one right. He's got a slide over the back plate that's it and then he pushed down there he's does that look right to you lot <laughs> it ain't right is it it's the other way isn't it i was right first time switch it back around again god these things are so fiddly yeah the two big pins go on the back i think the tab goes over the front piece Oh, it doesn't want to go in now. <laughs> what a parole these things are. I don't know why they want this thing in there. What is the point of it? <clears throat> well, I'm getting a bit bored with this now, folks. Ah, got it. 
works in there if I push that top piece over there and I'll get something just to just to push it back down there that's how it goes you got that tab piece there comes over the outside I couldn't remember where it came out because it was broken don't forget and then it drops a bit lower down than on the body because it, it's not hampering the the axle then put the axle back like that and there we go well well we've done it in the end <laughs> right put our tires on got a new set of tires for this one as I said you can get all these parts from a guy called Steve Flowers he's got a company called Model Supplies UK and the link is in the description below the video I include it in all my videos so anybody needs parts they don't have to keep texting me asking me for the address and all this they can just click on that link and it'll take you right there but anyway that's that done just got to be stuck together now drop that on there like that I've got me two rivets ready right I, I shan't show you the gluing you know what goes on with that you've seen me do it enough times just make sure the wheels are working with the wipers yeah it's all working and then we'll we'll look at the finished article in a minute once I've got it glued back together and of course got me chrome backlights done and we'll look at it in a minute well not in a minute in a second well this is uh this is what we started with. It's looking a bit tatty, a bit worse for wear, paint chips all over, bits of chrome missing. The badge of course was missing, but that's a piece I've stuck on. So it was in need of a bit of TLC. So anyway, after we've done our work on it, this is what it looks like now. Totally refurbished, inside and out, all new chrome. Paint um, come out too bad. It's, it's a very near match to the original paint colour, which I'm happy with. So, all in all, a very nice looking car again. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you again, hopefully, very soon. So, until the next time, it's bye bye from me.